How do you slab your clay? That just sounded weird, didn't it? Welcome to another episode of Jamie Dove Florida Pottery. Today I am talking about slabs. There's so many different ways to get a big, wide, flat sheet of clay. You can hammer it out with your hands, you can use a paddle, um, you can use a rolling pin, you can use the dropping method, you can slice it with a wire. There's just so many different ways. It just goes on and on. One day I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw an ad for a North Star slab roller for a great price. So I had to get it. Now I'm rolling out slabs in style. Come on, let's go check out the new equipment. The slab roller is a pretty straightforward and easy to use device. To roll out an even sheet, adjust the knobs on the top. Set it to the desired thickness. Repeat the same process on the opposite side for an even and consistent sheet of clay. Take a piece of prepared clay, place it on the canvas sheet. Tap the clay down a bit to make rolling easier and to take stress off the gears. Fold the canvas over the clay. Feed the canvas through the rollers until you can feel the clay make contact with the rollers. Now turn the wheel so the clay gets pulled into the rollers. Turn the wheel with long, even, smooth pulls. If you jerk the wheel, you could end up with ripples in the clay. And it's just that easy to get a large, flat, even sheet of clay. And if you enjoyed that demonstration, pound the subscribe button to see more informative content like this. Now that I've got some slabs to work with, let me show you five simple and easy slab roller projects that you can do yourself. One, it's not going to get any easier than this project right here. Take your slab, now get your favorite cookie cutters, and cut some shapes. Anyone can make simple, attractive ornaments for just about any occasion. Two, I laid out the slab. I used the lid from a used snack container. I placed the lid on the clay, then I used a piece of scrap wood to press down on all the edges evenly. If it looks like a coaster, that's because it is. I used a piece of burlap to texture the surface a bit. I used some old stamps that I had laying around to decorate the coasters. Three. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult than the last two, but it's still pretty simple. I use a ruler to make straight edges. Take the slab by the corners and fold them over towards each other placing one over top of the other so the slab is now a loose cone shape. Blend the clay. Smooth out the joins. I put a button on the back to attach a wire loop. Now I've got a quick and easy wall pocket. Four. I'm raising the bar a bit on this one. I laid out the slab. I used a square to get straight edges. I used a can of spray paint to measure the distance from the edge of the clay a can's width. I cut the clay, but keep both pieces. Cut out the circle marked by the can. Using a tool, score the edges of the clay circle. I score the edges on the narrow edge of the slab. I put some slip on the scored slab. I place the clay circle on the slab, pressing the two firmly together. Using the paint can as a form, I roll the clay over. I cut and score a small rectangular piece of clay. Now I add a little slip. I attach the piece to the front of the circle, joining the two walls. Now I smooth out the joins, and I've got a cool little candle holder. Five, I cut some straight edges. I take a look at the pieces and see if I can figure out what goes where. I've decided to use this relatively square piece as a base. I score the square piece of clay. I score the longer piece of clay. I add some slip to the scored clay. Here I carefully curve the clay over, creating an arch. Pressing the clay together firmly, I give it support from the inside. Using a wooden tool, I blend the clay together. I measure a piece of clay so I can make a wall to fit between the arch and the base. And using a piece of scrap clay, I made a short wall to fill the lower part of the opening. I use a smaller piece of clay to add a window ledge. And the final addition was to put a loop on the top of the roof of this swank little birdhouse. Six, bonus. I have a stamp for my pottery, but any stamp should work. 
Press it firmly into the clay and remove it to see the impression the stamp has left. I use these buttons on my pottery, but I found that they also make great refrigerator magnets. That was a lot of fun. I actually made all those projects in less than two hours, all of them in one two hour period of time. That's how easy they are to do. And that birdhouse, I was winging it. Yeah, I know, that was awful. But uh, seriously, I, was, I, I made it up as I was going along. I just saw the pieces and I just kind of put it together and I said, this is what I'm gonna do. Now in my mind before I started the project, I knew I was going to build a birdhouse, but I didn't know if I was going to build four walls and that, that funky little, you know, little, little teepee roof thing on top of it. Um, but then I just decided, oh, well, let's just, let's just have fun with the arch. And uh, so there we go, winging it. <laughs> it really is just uh, such an easy thing to do. And, and really, and you can do it too. When these pieces are finished, I'll be giving them and the other demo pieces that I make in the videos away to subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and make yourself eligible to get cool stuff for free. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, hit like. Share the video with someone who could benefit from it. Leave a comment if you have a question or you want to see me demonstrate something. And once again, thank you very much for watching the video. Go have fun. Go play in the clay. Take care.